just want to do moderate exercise. I could deal with you if you want to do silver sneakers. If you want to do jazzercise, I do it all. So that's what I do. So I've been in fitness and wellness for, like I say, 25 years now. Um, I enjoy what I do. I love working with people, and I uh, love this field. We were talking about interconnectedness. So I was just talking about the body and how the body is a system, and it works together as such. So it's just like your organs, your heart, your lungs, all that stuff. It works together for the good of the individual. So I use three things when it relates to uh, well-being and vitality. So I use body, mind, and spirit. So I feel like those three are connected when you want the best health for yourself. You know, so the body is going to be the mind, your thoughts, right? And then, well, the body is your physical. Your mind is your thoughts and your ideas. And so the spirit just lives here in the earth realm. It's nothing that we can see, but we know that it's there. It exists. And so I believe that those three components put together will allow a person to have uh, one of the best fitness and wellness programs for themselves, whether it's something you're doing for six months, uh, five weeks, eight weeks, or something that you're just doing for longevity. You're like, I'm, I'm cool right where I'm at. I just, need to, I just need to stay right where I'm at and just work out just a little bit and keep that same program going because it works. You just got to work the system. And so... Um, what else I do? Um, I'm a student right now. I got four more classes for my, uh, thank you, I appreciate that, MST, Marriage Family Therapy. I'm at Laverne University. So four more classes and I'm just posting. So finish these four classes and then I'm done. I'm doing my practicum and all that and doing all my hours. So I'm really, really close. Four classes left for that. I am a mother of two, a uh, 28-year-old and a 23-year-old. Um, I'm married uh, 30 years. Yes. Uh, and uh, and I live here <laughs> in California. So, y'all, we're just going to do some little small stuff. Like, yes. What are you taking? Psychology. Oh, okay. Yes, psychology major. Yes, ma'am. Psychology, dealing with people. I love people. You know, I like to do community work. I um, like to do church work. Act, 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 all act, be like, I love to be active. So, um, like I say, whether I'm just walking, I mean, I don't have to do nothing really, extre you know, extre extreme or nothing like that. Just sometimes just walking is good for me, you know, um, some weights, some strength training, you know, because I don't know if you guys are familiar with resistance bands. Um, sometimes that works better than the handheld weights, the dumbbells, because all of those are significant to weights. So you have yellow, you have red, you have blue, you have black so many colors but those colors represent weight how much is the strength of it and so sometimes your hands could be weak you could have neuropathy in your hands your feet things of that nature so sometimes you don't want to hold weight because they can slip out your hand at any time so sometimes i always use for my senior classes i use the resistance bands and the reason why i use the resistance bands is because it's, it's easier they can hold it in their hands and it's not as it's, it's light so if it falls it's just going to fall on the ground it ain't going to hit your toe or anything like that and so i do a lot of sit and be fit classes as well because sometimes you can still get the same workout in that chair if you ever work out with me here in the IE in Rancho Cucamonga, you're going to get the same workout that anybody else gets standing up doing Zumba or kickboxing in that chair, because that's what y'all about to get. <laughs> so again, my name is Rainy Allen. So that's for you guys who didn't know. If you did, just sign in on that paper over there. If you didn't, don't over there on that side over there. And then we're just going to get going if you guys don't mind. Y'all have any questions for me, just 
color. I do. I, I, I have classes in Rancho Cucamonga. I have them in Upland, California, and I have them in Fontana, California. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. At the uh, James L. Bruce Senior Center in Rancho. So that's the closest to you. And then also Upland may be close to you, you know, uh, uh, Ontario, uh, and then Fontana. I'll give you my card. Yeah, yeah. You, it, I, trust me, everybody knows me. I have a wait list. People you can't even get in my class. You have to know me. As someone they were sending at that conference just we just left. It depends on who you know. They can open doors for you like crazy. You go and say, "Hey, Rainy sent me." Guess what? You in? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna just start over again. Let me hit this music so we can get started. Just a little warm up for you guys. I tried to find a little, a little song list that y'all would like. Can y'all hear that fine? You hear? Okay. All right. So we're going to stretch first. He said stay in the middle, right? All right. So just some shoulder rolls to the back like here. Nice and tall. You got five and four, three, two, and one. And reverse. You got five. So we're doing a five count. You got three more, two, and one. All right. Just relax those feet, those hands. Just tilt that head to your right side. Just relax the shoulders out of the ears. Just breathe in and out for five, four, three, two, and one. Right back to the center. Right here is where you inhale and exhale. And breathe out. All right. You're going to tilt it to the opposite side. This is where you just get your breath and you're just breathing. Inhaling. You got four more. And three. Two and one. All right, back here. Take that right leg out, extend it if you can. Reach straight down, just reach as far as you can. You're gonna stretch this glute, hamstrings, just reach it. You got five seconds there. So this is like a, a moderate, low impact fitness class that I do on a daily basis. You're gonna bring it up right here, outside. Bring it down, inhale and exhale, right? Other side, what you do on the right, you do on the left. You extend that left side, five seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and bring it up, exhale out. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start with a, I'm gonna turn this way so y'all can do it. I'm gonna sit back down, see? So, you're gonna move to your right, so you mirror me. So if I'm facing you, so you know mirror me means, so you do, okay, we're doing the same thing. So we're gonna start just with that basic. You're just gonna step to the right and left. That's what you're gonna do. And then I'm gonna add on, I'm gonna say forward. No, you're gonna stay seated. I'm just demonstrating right, left, and forward. Go right, forward, all right. All right, y'all got it. So right here, take it to a march. Good. And then we're gonna take it out. Right side, let's go. Right, forward. Forward, yep. Four more. Outside. Forward. Keep going. You're gonna add on to this. So we're gonna get the whole body involved, right? And it looks like this. When you take that right, lift it as far as you can. Five, four, three, two. Out front is a reach. Stretching the back now and the shoulders. This joint right here. And just keeping that outside. Four, three, two, march. That's your lifeline. March it is your lifeline. We're going to put that all back together. 
right side, take it out. Forward. Right side. Forward. Add that arm. Four more. Three. Two. Out front reach. So extending that arm straight out. Four. Three. Two. Lifeline. That's your march. We got three, two. You're gonna always use your lower body. So here we go. Box our hands right here. So you're gonna do a shadow box. Mirror boxing with yourself. It's like this. That's your eight count. Eight. Seven, six, good job, four more, three, two, all right, right here, and we're going to do this thing called jab it up top, let's go, it's here, working those arms and shoulders, Back to that roll. Speed bag right here. That's that speed bag. Right side. Jab it up. Four, three, two, speed bag. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lifeline. hot <laughs> ain't no air in here that was in one of my other class y'all just saw me in a sports bra <laughs> all right we're gonna take everything from the top the beginning take it out only right here you go right left bring it forward let's add it in right here eight seven six five Four, three, two, out front reach. Nice. Four more. Three, two, jab it out, right? Already there. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, speed bag. Jab it up left side. Speed bag. Right side, jab it up. For four, three, two, and lifeline. Good job. How y'all feel? Feel like your heart rate got up a little bit? Just a little bit? Okay. <laughs> a little bit. All right, here we go. Give me that heel out front. It's like this. And now it's a toe tap. Right there. Heel, heel, heel. Four more heels. Two more. Eight. Keep it going. Seven. Six. Because we don't have our resistance bands or weights, what we're going to do is add our own, use our own body weight, right? So we're going to go back to that heel with a bicep curl. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four, three, two, that toe tap. Now you press it back with that so you can work in the try the back of your arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
to? All right, right here, Marge and Lifeline. Now we'll do some squats too. It looks just like this. Up. So you can either just barely or you can squat Ain't your chair behind you. Take your time, get up, squeeze. All right. Squeeze. Here we go. We got three, two, let's go. Squat. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Good. And one. Here we go. Lift. Heel. And sometimes people can't lift both at the same time. So you know what you can do? Eight. If your balance is off. Four more. Three. Two. And one. All right. Here we go. Again. Squat. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two. All y'all form was good too. Three, come on, two more. That's one. All right, here we go. That heel. Eight. Y'all got four more. I'm doing opposite. So do your eight. You got three, two, and one. All right. On that side of that chair, if you can. Yep, you're good. So we're going to continue to work those legs, right? That lower body. Yeah, it's hot in here, huh? That air ain't on, huh? So, yeah, just... So it, it was getting there. Good. There it goes. Why we didn't think to turn it on before? <laughs> All right. So we're going to finish working those legs, right? The hips, flexors, and the inner and outer thighs, right? So we just hold the chair if you need to. If you don't, don't worry. But if you hold the chair if you need to, like this. Eight. Seven. So that's what we're doing. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, two, and one. All right, here we go. We're going to lift the same leg, right? And the same thing you're doing standing, you can do it in the chair as well. Five more. Four. Three, two, one. All right, opposite side, right? You're doing the right, you're doing the left. So we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna extend that leg out. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, gonna lift it right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good balance ladies, two, and gentlemen, <laughs> last one, all right, and back in that chair, that was good, y'all gonna put all that together. <laughs> Y'all say, woo. Yes. You see how just, just moderate exercise to get your heart rate going? Yeah. It's just about doing it on a basis. You take, you could take 10 minutes a day. We were talking when we were done yesterday. Taking 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, eight minutes. It's, it's, you don't have to really try to work out a whole hour all the time. Uh, that's how inconsistency starts. You, you know, you set yourself a goal and 
try to, you know, try to keep it going for your lifestyle and stuff. What happens is people fall off because they're trying to keep it going. Sometimes you the smallest goals. So I call it fit. So frequency, intensity, time, and type. The frequency is how many, how much you do something on a regular basis. The intensity is what we did right now. Are you working anywhere from 70 to 100% of your heart rate range? So wherever you need to be, that's where you need to be to feel that you get, you're working out on that intensity level. The type of exercise you do, that's, that's truly up to you to do strength training. You know, as women, our bone just decreases. So you might want to do strength training, use some resistance bands or some light dumbbell weights, some two pounds, some three pounds. You don't have to get 50 pounds. That's not necessary. Trust me. Um, so cardio, that's what y'all been doing. All of this, lifting, kickboxing, that's all cardio. So what you did, what y'all just did right now was, it was a full body workout body workout so if you decide to um you know make a fit plan a frequency intensity the time and type of ex exercise you're going to do and then assess it you may say okay i'm gonna start three days a week doing this little small movement keep it going for about you know three days a week 15 minutes a day you may start there and then you say i need to increase something so you might want to increase your time Okay, I did 15 minutes and I was successful at doing that for six weeks. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, move my time up 18 minutes for the next six weeks or 12 weeks. You might want to challenge yourself or you may say, I want to keep my 15 minutes. I want to increase my strength because I noticed my balance. I'm, I'm weak, not as strong as I, as, as I was. So you may want to increase your the type, the time, the strength, you know, because when you have resistance bands, I was explaining they represent a color and the color represents a weight how much it's just like your weights you know so the yellow is always going to be the lightest i don't care where you go in the world the yellow band is the lightest so that's the lightest so um your blacks your your blacks your purple your blues there's that's going to be the strongest and so if you're if shoulders or your rotator cuffs and your back, your upper back, your lower back and your core is not as strong, get somewhere in the middle, get a green or a yellow or a red. Uh, work, work with what you can work with because you don't want it to pop and slap it. They hurt, you know, if it, it hits you, you know, if you, you probably used them before, they hurt. So just work with whatever it is that you're working with. But fitness is your choice. It's, it's yes. Yes. So uh, I, I would say so basically you can do a, a, you start at an eight week, you could do a four or an eight week. So if you re, if you put yourself on your own four week or eight week program, so you would change, you would take a look at you and make an assess, assessment for yourself. You'll say, OK, I've been doing this program, this this workout for four weeks. Now, for that fifth week, you're going to change. So you you pick one or if you say two that you want to change. But I suggest uh, in this, interview, I would suggest that you change one thing at a time. Yeah. So if you're doing your say, I'm, I've been doing you say I've been doing this uh, morning glory fitness. Fitness, glory fitness. So you've been doing morning glory fitness for four weeks and you're like, hey, it's time for me to switch up uh, the cardio. I need to add a little bit more of a, some type of cardio. And so you would just add to that. And so you can increase, you can increase the type, the intensity, meaning your heart rate, or you can, you can increase how many reps you do. So if you were doing four sets and you want to keep your heart rate right at 65, so then what you'll do is you will increase the reps and keep your heart rate right there. Yeah. Did they answer? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got one more in you? I do do virtual. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I do virtual for, like I say, I'm a, I'm a senior specialist. So I've been doing this for 25 years. So not new to this. I contract with a lot of people, a lot of senior entities, really. That's but um, you can find your age anywhere between 8 and 98. That's what I work with. So whatever your age is, you know, got something for a little bit of everybody. But um, but I do do vir virtual. So um, very uh, in tune or inclined to uh, disabilities, uh, the likeness thereof. 
I, like I said, I, my oldest client is actually 103 years old. That is the truth. Yes, yes. And, uh, yes. Endurance? Okay, so endurance is going to uh, kind of go with your uh, cardio and strength. Yeah, so I would suggest something like this. So um, what do you like to do preferably? You, you like to walk, tread? Okay, there you go. So if I was you, I would do a run, walk, jog. Uh-huh. So, you know, if you, if you like to walk, so... Uh, as far as the hiking, I wouldn't do any because of the inclines. I don't know if you go to Claremont or wherever you go hiking, but I would be just mindful of that. But it, so I'm just use running for it as an example for you. So I would do something what I call a, a run, walk, jog, jog when you're trying to increase your endurance, and then take your resistance band with you. And so when you finish walking, uh, you something. So you finish that, and so start walking, right? And then you'll do a little fast paced walk. Then you'll do a slight jog. And then you go back to that fast paced walking. So you'll do the laps you want to do around the, your trail, your walking area. And then when you're finished, you know how the, in the areas they have gates and fence. You take that resistance band and you just put it through that loop and just pull, work the back. And pull, work the back. Uh, turn around pull, work this back, the shoulders and the rotator cuff, the core. So your core is not just your stomach. I know everybody thinks that your stomach, your core is just your stomach, but your core is all of this, all everything, the back, yeah. It's just, so you want to strengthen that and have that strong enough too, you know, so yeah. Yes. So that's what you, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, so my name is Rainy, as in a rainy day, I'm going to say that. So water means to uh, cleanse and to purify and to make sure something grows. So if you ever in one of my virtual classes, you don't get the right to cheat. Yeah, that part. Sorry. I see everything. Yeah, I do, I do, but uh, but yeah, that's true. And I guess it's, it goes to a preference. There are people who uh, don't like virtual because they want to be in person. That's because some of the people they feel like that's my accountability because I, I don't want to miss no days. I, I really want to get, I really want to be consistent and be consistent in my life with this because they're not looking to um, get into a two-piece bathing suit. They're looking for longevity for health for the rest of their life, for the duration of their life. Their life. They don't know when God is going to blow their candle out, so they just want to live, be healthy. That's it. They ain't going to get in no two-piece, baby. They, they, they didn't already got married five, eight times. They probably ain't doing it no more. I don't know, but, you know, but this is for lifestyle. And so you you want to be mindful of all the reasons why you're doing it, but i tell you this, um, that's a choice that everybody should, should be about it because longevity um, is not promised to any of us. And so you do, I'm going to say it again, we don't know when God is going to blow our candle out. And so therefore we have to be mindful and cognitive of what foods we're eating and things of that nature. That's why I say my, this was called connectness. So connecting the body, the mind, and the spirit because it all works together for the good of the individual. The body is a system and it wants to get that such. That's like knowing that uh, bananas provide potassium. But knowing that the banana pro provides potassium means nothing if you don't ingest and eat it. Likewise, knowing that health and wellness, a little walking is going to make you stronger. Knowing that, you know, I don't want to do virtual because I'm a cheat. She don't know that I cheat. Knowing these things that you know, then you will make the right choice, you know, for your own life. So that's how you feel about it. Yeah, right. That's what I said. It's, it's, a, it's like, you know, like some people, they do it, yes. And you just want to continue to do it that way. You're not trying to, uh, like I say, get in a bikini or whatever. You just want to be healthy. There's a plus. It's okay. It's a, yes, it's okay. Yes. But lifestyle is, is the key, you know. So we're just going to stretch it out.
y'all don't have any more questions so that's it just take both of those heels out for me just like that all right just keep that back nice and strong so engage that core squeeze just squeeze short yeah legs short mine too yeah all right and reach as far as you can keep them shoulders back just like that and you can the back of those legs five four three two and bring it up nice slow and control bring those legs together good all right you're going to bring that right leg out for me and we're going to do that stretch here again feeling it right there getting a the deeper stretch as far as you can five seconds you could like i say do as many reps as you want count how long you want whatever works for you and we're going to bring it up slow, strong outside exhale out good bring that one back in opposite and we're going to bring that one straight down reach hold that for about five seconds and we're going to bring it up strong arm outside exhale and breathe all right and we got those shoulder rolls feet flat planted and we're just going to be nice and tall and let's take it back for five four three two and we reverse five same thing yep and last one all right now just go ahead and relax the shoulders tilt it to the right side feel that stretch five seconds and we're going to bring it back to center just right here just keep it there this is where you deep breath in inhale exhale and exhale blow out now tilt it to that left side shoulders are still in that right, relaxed position and bring it back up to the center now this time we're going to add take it straight down feel that stretch in the back of the neck and go ahead and bring it straight up stretch the front side and bring it down all right, so we're going to do an inhale and an exhale. So bring it in, inhale, and blow it out. <sighs> exhale, and two more. Bring it in. Exhale out. And last one, bring it in. And exhale out. All right, now we in, we take it to that right here, feet together. We always press through. Just like this, we press through on some, some peace, love, and blessings. So here we go. Let's press through on peace, love, blessings. And we always end on good health and good health. And thank you. All right. Good job, you guys. Y'all like that? Good. Even though my job takes me all around the world, oh, I'd be the first to admit that I've had some fun with some of the prettiest girls. But temptation gets strong sometimes, but if it lasts too long, oh, you always seem to call me at the right time, saying, oh, baby, strong. So if you feel, 